We hope the government will keep working hard to end the conflict once and for all. For it has brought untold hardship on our people. First, the conflict has caused the loss of lives and properties. And second, has displaced people. Homes here in Chiripone are flooded with displaced people. At a time, I myself had about 78 displaced people in my house. They were women and children, but mostly children. These displaced people had their homes and properties burnt, and now they have no homes to return to. These are mostly farmers, and if they have no homes to return to, it is obvious they cannot farm this year. Farmers here too, who are not displaced, cannot also go to farm. They do not feel safe to go. If we are unable to farm here this year, it is clear farming will befall us. Not to talk of the devastating effect this will have on our personal economies, community economies, and the economy of the nation at large. The lack of farming this year will also affect the planting for food and jobs program, thereby upsetting inflation and the fluctuating currency. Not to mention the depletion of the district assembly's coffers hereby, setting back the development of this area for this year. We also appeal to His Excellency the President to make fact-finding committee's report public. He promised to do so, but said the Minister of Interior was still studying it. His Excellency the President promised that when he gets back to Accra, he will ask the Minister of Interior to speed up his study of the report so he can make it public. Now that the Minister of Interior is with us here today, we add our voice to the promise of the President and make a passionate appeal to the Minister of Interior to speed up his study of the report in order for the President to make it public. For we here believe that in the report lies the solution to this perennial conflict. This is a conflict that first occurred in June 2018, reoccurred on January 1st, 2019, and reoccurred again on March 15th, 2019. We made a point to the President that we were not doomsayers, but if the report were not made public, the conflict is likely to reoccur again. There is already a rumor that Concombers are preparing to attack the Anufos on Wednesday, 5th of June 2019, it'll fatal day. Indeed, we Anufos have been peace-loving people, and there is historical evidence to show that ever since we settled on this land, we have never entered into conflict with any tribe until now. Mr. Interior Minister, we want to inform you that all Anufo villages in Saboba district were burnt down, but there are many Konkomba houses here in Chiripone which were not burnt down. We are therefore very ready to embrace the peace we enjoyed before. <laughs> <laughs>